In pre-algebra section 1.6, we're dealing with scatter plots. Now, it's similar to through what you're doing um, in the other sections, except we're just going to be dealing with the positive. Okay? This still goes down, but um, like the last section, the last problem we did, we didn't go um, to any of the negatives, but we still put it on there. To save you time, we're sticking to the positives. And basically, the scatter plot doesn't give us a, a nice line like other, like uh, certain rules do. Um, there's not an equation that they give us, like in the middle, they just give us a whole bunch of points. So it doesn't necessarily fit a perfect line. So you're going to, it's going to be scattered, hence the term scatter plot. So um, generally, if you can see that as most of them are increasing, this is increased as the, um, ooh, these are not right. I just missed that. This is y, x, y, x, y, x. So if you see as the x is increasing, so is the y. This is called positive relationship. Um, when the x gets bigger, so does the y. The negative relationship is when the x gets bigger, the y gets smaller. That's negative, okay? And then if it's just scattered everywhere and you really can't tell, it's called no relation. So for example, the first one is asking us to make a scatter plot. Now, before I do anything, I need to make increments. I have to look. What's my smallest number and what's my biggest number? Sometimes it's order and sometimes not. I believe, luckily, they put this in order. So 32 is my smallest and 86 is my biggest. So this is my F degrees and this is my C degrees. So let's look at our F. That's 32, 41, 50, 1, 2, let's go by tenths. And if you're using graph paper, it'll probably be easier to find more. But again, if it's not exact, it's fine. We're looking for the general idea. Is it generally positive or generally negative relation or no relation at all? So we're going to go by 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay? And then the C, it goes from 0 to 30. That's fives, that's easy. We'll go by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And we're going to pull it. The first one is 32. So here, zero. That means I don't go up at all. Um, the next one is 41. Up five. The next one is 50. Up 10. The next one is 68. Up 20. The next one is 77. Up 25. And the next one is 86. 30. So, not a perfect line, but I can generally see as it gets um, smaller, I mean, as uh, um, uh, the x value or the f degrees gets bigger, so does the c. So it's positive correlation. As one gets bigger, so does the other. So this is positive. Okay? And it says predict the degree Fahrenheit for 35c. So, if I were to let's draw like a line, okay, and then I see 35 here, it should be somewhere maybe 90s. See, I'm not going to be exact. I can't predict the exact numbers, but I know it's going to be over 88. So, I can do maybe 98. Nope. Let's do 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, you could put anything between 90 and 100 even, and it should be okay. Um, as long as you're not putting like 1,000 or you're putting anything below 86, um, you should be fine. Um, even if you put 88 and above. So this prediction is just to give us, you know, because there's not a set pattern like we did in the last section, there's not a definite answer for this particular question. I just need you to show me that you are using your logic, that you know it's bigger than 86 because as this gets, as um, the bottom is bigger, so is the top bigger. Um, but you know it's not an extreme number because they don't jump like from zero, I mean it doesn't jump like 40 or 50, right? 
um, 40 or 50 degrees. So go ahead and write this down. Um, try page 43, numbers 10, 43, number 10, and I will see you in class.